Hey guys, Mac here. I've had a few requests to redo my tutorial how to make your photos stunning in three easy steps because perhaps there were a few stages in my tutorial that were not clear enough. So I decided to do this tutorial again. Okay, so we're going to start here by duplicating this layer. So we're going to do that by pressing Command J. The second, uh, the second step is to go to the blending modes and then selecting soft light. So as you can see, we've had quite a big change um, in the picture because now you can see like the color of the hair has really popped out. So let's do a before and after. That's before, that's after. Okay, now if that um, if the vibrance is a bit too much, what you could do is you could go down, you could go to the opacity and lower it down to the desired amount depending on your image. Okay, so I think I'll just leave mine at 77%. Okay, so what we want to do now is we need to uh, create a vignette. So we want to come down here to and um, add a, uh, create a new layer. Okay, and now we need to fill that layer with black. Okay, so um, the shortcut for that is by pressing D. Or you could come here to the foreground color double click and you could enter six zeros okay because that's the hex for for black now with the foreground color selected what you want to do is to fill that layer and make sure that that layer is selected so you want to fill that layer with black so you're going to press alt option backspace okay and then you need to come down here to add a layer mask. So we're going to click on add a layer mask. And then now we need to, we need the brush tool. Okay. So um, the shortcut for the brush tool is B, the letter B, or you could come here and select it manually by clicking that. Okay. As you can see on the, uh, on the main canvas, that brush size is very small. Now I um, I increase that by using the right bracket key and then reduce it by using the left bracket key. Now you also have an option to do it manually by coming here to the top left and just increasing the size here like so. So you can see it's increasing. Now I prefer using the right bracket key so I'm just going to press the right bracket key a few times until that circle covers most of the rectangle like that okay so now with that brush visible now you want to press the the left button on your mouse so you just click once and now you can and now you can see the image in the background is being revealed so you may want to do this a few times okay i've done i've done this a few times so i'm going to reduce the size of the brush by pressing the left bracket key. If my vignette is a bit too dark, what you may want to do is you want to come here to the opacity and just lower it down to the desired amount. So I think I'm happy with maybe 70. So let's do a before and after. So this is the, um, the image that we started off with. That's what the blending mode added. And the third stage is the vignette. Okay, so tell me uh, what you think about this tutorial. And um, please leave your comments below. And don't forget to go to graphics.tv. That's G-R-A-F-X-T-V dot com. And register to get notified on upcoming tutorials and updates on what's going on with you no know, graphics. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.